There have been many galactic wars since this universe was created, and like I've mentioned before, wars are started for different reasons, but the ultimate reason is always power. Then we can argue that the motives are different, like war over real estate, over who is going to be in charge of a region, country, planet, galactic sector, or an empire. The motives are as many as we can think of, and another is war between genders. This, we understand, has been an ongoing war and or conflict since genders were created. Male star beings kidnapped female star beings, tortured, raped, and interrogated them in order to comprehend what their power was all about. As a revenge, female star beings started attacking all males, although not all males were bad. Sometimes the females took over and created their own matriarchal regime, where the males were no more than slaves and treated horribly, so it goes both ways so long as the beings, males or females, are not evolved enough to find both an interior and exterior balance between the sexes, if they are sexual beings, that is. In order to get there, humankind still has a long way to go, because the war of the sexes were brought down here to earth as well, and we learned how to divide and conquer from the gods. What we need now is to heal our wounds along the lines of time, and to do so, we need to understand ourselves better. We all have feminine and masculine aspects to ourselves, and we need to acknowledge both and not suppress one or the other. The Syrians and their human hybrid bloodlines know that a lot of healing is taking place amongst humans today as a consequence of the cosmic changes going on, something they can't do too much about. Still, there is one thing they can do, something that normally seems to work pretty well on humans, giving us distractions. The power that be know that many are waking up to the fact that the feminine energies are the divine energies, and once that is recognized, people will take things even further. So the elite understand they can't ignore the fact that things are changing, so they have to change with the currents. So, I suggest the reader pays attention to a new movement that is starting to pop up, especially on the internet. It certainly appears that the Syrian overlords are going out of their way to cover their basics and are now releasing information on the Divine Feminine that is pretty accurate, and very much in line with what I have revealed here in my papers. However, what differs is again the motives. Beware of those who tell you that it's time for the females to take over from the males, that it's time for a shift in leadership. Such movements can be quite convincing sometimes. This is just Syrian wolves, pun intended, in sheep's clothing. All they want is to start a new war, a new conflict so they can continue using their divide and conquer formula. If they own both the patriarchal and matriarchal movements, they can pull the strings on either. Still, it's inevitable that people will get caught up in both and from what started out as a freedom movement with the purpose to break loose from the patriarchal regime will instead turn groups against each other. You see how important it is with balancing things out, or we'll get extremes on either ends.